That was my Simpsons up. <laughs> showing you how to groom a horse. So the horse I have with me today is Super. He's obviously a chance so I'm really slinky. But because I've started working with Super, I thought I would show you how to groom on him. First brush you want to use is a curry comb. And with the curry comb, you want to go in circular motions only on the meaty part of their bodies. You don't want to be going down on the legs or up on their withers or on their face. So I'm going to start on the neck. You do circular motions to bring all the hair and dirt up to the surface which you should be able to see come up you want to make sure you get under the mane properly and especially under their belly mainly where the girth will go so i like to work my way from the neck down and then of course you would do both sides but just for the purpose of this video i'm only going to show you how to do one side so as you can see now super's fur has kind of gone all weird and there's parts that have come up to the surface so then the brush you would use now is called the hard brush or the dandy brush. And it's got hard bristles. It's pretty much taking off the hair and dirt that you just brought off their skin up to the surface. So you want to pretty much do it in the same places as where you did the curry in short flick motions. Pretty much just like you're flicking it off their body. Yeah, you can also use this on the legs if you do it softly, but I personally like to use another brush for their legs, just so I'm not spreading the mud or something that was on their legs up onto their body. And you want to also, again, make sure you go under the belly. So then you can pretty much use the same brush as you used for their body, but just probably a different brush. It's up to you, you don't have to, but then you can just do it on their legs. Just make sure you do it a lot softer, especially when you're going down onto the bony parts. You don't want to be pressing as firmly as you were. The next brush I'm going to use is called the soft brush or a finishing brush. So this brush you can do all over their body. You can do it on their face as well, but again, I have a different brush for their face. So I'm just going to do it all over his body. It's normally really soft with either horse hair or goat hair. So you can do it on the legs as well. You don't have to do this brush, but it just makes the coat a lot shinier. And gets all that leftover hair that you might have missed. Now this is optional, but I'm going to use a face curry or a jelly scrubber, as you can use for washing. But I'm going to use it on his face. I'm not going to do the coarse side. I'm going to make sure it's the smaller side, which is a lot softer. Horses normally really like their face being done. I know Slinky and Super love it. Sometimes they'll rub their head up and down to go with it, especially Slinky. And you just do it all over their face and their cheeks. You can't, you don't really go over your eyes with their eyes with this one. You can if it's really soft, but I preferably don't. The next brush is called, is another soft brush, but this one's a face brush. As you can see, it's smaller. And unlike my other one, this one's actually goat fur rather than horse fur. So you're just gonna go all over their face, go over their eyes as well, and down their nose and now the second last brush is pretty much a mane and tail brush and it's just like a normal person's like a human's brush which is what I used to use and you just want to like you do on a person you want to start from the bottom of the mane and work your way up because you don't want to be pulling out hair because it's hard for them to go back, especially if you pull it right out of the roots. So after you've done their mail, you can also do their forelock, but just be careful when you do it because sometimes horses might not like their forelock being done quite as much. Or you can even pull it over the ear and do it like this. And then you can also do the tail with this. When you're doing the tail, you don't do this as often as you would do their mane. You can if you want, but I preferably don't because it's not as important and you don't want to brush it too much because you can start to pull hairs out and it's just they're even harder to go back than they are for the mane. And But when you are doing it, you pull it to the side and you would grab a little piece, not the whole thing, and just start from the bottom and work your way up. I preferably only do this once every week or once every two weeks because I don't want to do it every time I ride just because it's not needed. But if there is a knot 
or it's looking really knotty, I would do it. And as you go further and further and do more pieces, you can just put it all together and do it one more time. And you, the reason you stand to the side is so if they were to kick out, they wouldn't kick you because you're at the side of them. Now the last brush, well it's not really a brush, but uh, it's the most important one of all. If you're not going to brush a horse, or if you don't have time, which you really should because you should make time for this, but the one brush to do is the hoof pick because their feet are the most important thing to be looking after. Of. Just because if they had a stone in the bottom of their hoof, they can cause stone bruises and worse things like that. So you always want to get everything under their feet. So when you're doing a feet, you need to run your hand down their leg when you get behind their fetlock. And if they don't pull it up like Super doesn't, oh, he actually is kind of doing it. But if they don't pull it up, you can give them a little push and push them off balance like that. And you hold it with your left hand, if you're on the, the left side of the horse, you hold it with your left hand under the horse's hoof. Make sure you have good balance of it and so it'd be comfortable for them. Hey, Soup. <laughs> and then you would hold the pick with it away from you and avoid, avoid the frog, which is the triangle thing here, which you can't really see Supers because it's been raining here, so it's super muddy. But I know approximately where it is. You just want to pick away from you. My hair's falling in my face like this and I have a brush on mine so I can brush it away like this and brush all the mud away but don't pick the frog because it's a very sensitive part and if you pick it, it probably won't end well so once it's done you just place it down gently and he'll end up slamming it down anyway <laughs> but you don't want to let it go and slam it down for the back one it's pretty much the same Super doesn't really like his back feet being done. I don't know why, he just doesn't. And maybe did too slinky when I first started doing stuff with him. He's gonna eat my brushes. But see how Super's not square at the moment? You want him to be square so he's not off balance and try to pull his foot away. Off the forward come. And you wanna do the same thing. Super doesn't really like it. So make sure you get a hold of it with the back foot when you've got it. For Super, I wait for him to relax because he, sometimes he'll try to pull away. When I feel him relax like this, I pull it out and I put my leg behind it so he can't pull it back. And also, I can quickly see my leg away if anything else happens. But you want to make sure it's comfortable for them. And the reason you want to pull it out is that it's not as easy for them to pull back and kick you. So Super's back once and now he's trying to pull back in, but he can't because my leg's there. So after you've done the foot, you want to make sure you put it down gently again. Sloop will probably try to slam it away. <laughs> he doesn't really like it being done, so I won't let he, I won't put it down when he wants it down. There. <laughs> put it down gently like that. So that's how you brush a horse. I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my vlog. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye! Now look at me. You've made me who I am today. And because of you, I have this never losing, never giving up attitude. Quitting? That's not even in my vocabulary. Listen, when they quit, I keep going.